here I am enjoying the sun and natural lighting while it exists in the UK, which is uh, five seconds. <laughs> so we've got the second month of YouTube Craft Society. <laughs> I should probably actually come up with a little theme tune. That could be fun. And I'm starting work in three days. So I thought let's get two things done at the same time. So the most basic of crafts. Paper and card crafts. This is a whole folder, slippery fish, full of cards that I got from the charity shop. Um, assumedly some old lady just didn't have the hand ability anymore from arthritis to do her card making crafts. So I'm going to use just these and pens and one lamination pouch and there's two methods of lamination which I will show you later talk about later on and it depends on I haven't gone to the shops yet I haven't got lamination stuff um, but the lamination without a laminator so do 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 and basically what I'm gonna do is just a piece of A4 which has eight boxes one for each day of the week and one for what I need to do every week so just to organize my life on a week to week basis but yeah I'll show you how the different ways you can decorate and it should be fun your craft society and thus YouTube craft society has always prided itself hasn't that's so dramatic but I always tried to make sure that everyone can do it so you don't need to have artistic talent or even necessarily even basic fine motor skills you know you can slap something together with the supplies provided and it'll look half okay as long as you take the time to try a new thing you know i understand the last one the book binding you can see it as kind of more complex but if someone takes you through the steps and helps you you know everyone everyone can try it so with this one i'm doing just basic card paper pens crafts so alongside my more complex weekly timetable i decided to make a simple basic one for my sister which i'll be showing you first So my timetable took a bit more time because there was actually a plan. By that I mean I did planning <laughs> and that's step one. So I kind of looked at the card I have, the paper I have, and I looked at colour schemes that are possible. So I kind of came up with three themes and also kind of how you want to organise it. So how many areas do you want, what's important to include. I knew I needed at least six, possibly eight, so seven, like I did for Catherine's, my sister's, seven, one for each day and one more for a reminder or to-do list or some sort of other thing, because you want even numbers, uh, or at least I do, I don't know, so plan out that, and then I also planned out the theme, so would it be, I've got three sea-like papers, three kind of light papers I ended up using the light pinks and stuff for Catherine's which I actually did after this planning stage and the one I went with which is the forest so a very dark green mid green light green and playing around with that and then okay forest I chose a forest because I thought I could include the animals and concepts from it's not the novel that I'm writing because I'm not actually writing it I'm kind of just planning it but my OC world I don't know how does that work and so the first stage was okay what do I want to include 
what do I think would make sense in a forest and what would they look like so planning stage number two looking at references and thinking of different ways to represent them Step three and four kind of blended together. So I had the three colored cards. So I chose the mid green for the background, the dark and the light to offset that. So the tree makes sense to be the darkest and the grass the lightest. But I kind of, for some reason, wanted to kind of stay within that realm. So I used, so all of the dark, which kind of darker, I used the same tree paper and chose a light cream for the rest because the greens wouldn't really make as much sense when it comes to nests and bees etc so it was a whole lot of planning like to scale and then tiny snips which took half an hour With the gluing done, it was decoration time. So the fun, you can add glitter or whatever you think is appropriate. Glitter will not be in this case, but have a bit of fun. So I used some kind of light yellow and orange to add some, oh, and green to add some depth to my little creatures. And then, white paint because I it I chose the darkest color and I think it creates a really cool effect especially the cat is so so the little bee's legs they're okay I mean it makes them more visible but it kind of looks a bit murky but I think it looks so great in the mandrake's little eyes and yeah after that you've just got to write down your days or whatever you're doing so you could do like okay monday tuesday wednesday you could do it as a food like diet guide exercise whatever you want to plan out on a weekly daily whatever basis you could do just like a to-do list that you can stick up and yeah so i did monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday weekend and then in another color i did what i have to do every week so Monday video, not last Monday, because I had to re-record, <laughs> I said Capricorn rather than Aries, because I'm an idiot, and then, so Monday video, and also Instagram post about that, and then my comic I'm going to start putting out coming Wednesday, every Wednesday I'm going to have not necessarily a comic but something to do with it, it should be a comic every 
two weeks and a little art about it every other week and then just because you know trying to make it look nice and also to because I want to do more digital art I'll be releasing art digital art on that day I'm not sure how this will work when Inktober comes so look forward to that or not it might be a mess <laughs> but don't hold me too closely to this I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to plan it out but I haven't started work yet so I'll see how much time I actually have after work I know I know I promised laminating without a laminate machine I know however I found out in between recording that and actually doing the craft that my mother, while I was gone, actually bought a lamination machine and had never used it, so I used it. <laughs> so I'll tell you, I've done lamination two different ways without a laminating machine. One is just if you have an iron, put it on a low setting, put a piece of grease proof paper in between, kind of like when you're doing, um, what are they called? You like iron little beads together. I'll add it in if I can remember and just iron it and be careful not to burn it you want to make sure you get the edges real good or just buy those sticky laminating sheets they I've also done that they work really well <laughs> I mean I think they're probably a bit less waterproof but they're also way easier so it swings and roundabouts but I got to use the machine that we have that was taking up space in my parents bedroom and Look at them go. So craft done. I'm really happy with that, how this turned out. Because of the layers and fun I had with the layers in this craft, it doesn't quite, it's not quite even. It's not stuck as well as it could be, but who really cares? It looks real cute and it's real practical. I've written down my next weeks for week for work, so I've got a training day on Tuesday, and then um, there might be work on for the next week, but I don't know yet because I they haven't told me yet. So <laughs> we'll find out when I go to the training day. And yeah, I think I hope I can show that anyone can do this. It's real useful, real easy, and real fun. So subscribe to become part of YouTube Craft Society. I'll make more of these. What crafts would you like to see me try? What are you too scared to invest in that I can invest in and tell you if it's a terrible craft? Thank you, come again, guys. There's a zebra. Hello. Okay. Here, land. I think their bodies are very big for their heads. Is how I identify them. And then there's another zebra. It, wait, no, what is that? Is that a tyre? What is that? No, it's a zebra. There you go. That's, that's it. Hello.